sure the answer to this question will become very obvious by the end of this video. Loops consist of a lens or a series of lenses which, when set up, allow for the optical enlargement of objects that are viewed through them, i.e. they make things look bigger. A lot of people seem to think that you only need magnification if you're growing old and your eyesight is deteriorating. But I assure you, there is a lot more to loops. There are a number of key advantages to using loops. First of all, wearing loops can significantly improve your posture when practicing dentistry. This is great in helping to prevent back pain. Back pain is actually experienced by around 80% of dentists, making it the most frequent work-related mucoskeletal disorder. It's also a frequent cause of days off work and premature retirement. So, dental loops, as well as other ergonomic adjuncts, such as four-handed dentistry, can help with this. Wearing loops can also make an unbelievable difference to the quality of your dentistry, because you can actually start to see what you're doing with a good amount of detail. Personally, I very much feel that loops should be considered to be an essential part of the toolkit for a practicing dentist. So, what should you look for when selecting, analyzing, and finally purchasing loops? First of all, the magnification. This can range from 2.5 to 6 on average. The recommended magnification for a novice is 2.5 to 3. This is a great magnification for general dentistry, and many dentists will not go any higher than this for their practicing careers. The field of view is how much of the working site you can visualize through your loops. A larger field of view allows you to bring instruments into the field easier and is generally easier to adapt to. For 2.5 magnification, a good field of view would be approximately 10 centimeters. The depth of field is the depth of area that is visible and in focus while looking through the loops. A larger depth of field is preferred as there's a deeper area visible through the loops. The size of the depth of field corresponds directly to the working distance. Loops with a longer working distance will have a large depth of field and vice versa. At this point, I should say that it's important to know that the higher the magnification, the narrower your field and depth of view. Choosing very high magnifications to start off with is what often causes dentists to reject loops. So start off with a lower magnification and a larger field of view. When considering the quality of the lens, you need to look at three properties. Resolution. How well can you distinguish the fine detail? Chromatic aberration. Looking at the changing color when looking through the lens. And spherical aberration. Checking for any distortions of shape and changes when you look through the lens. The most practical way of assessing all of these three is by looking at a flat ruler through the loops. Check to see how well you can distinguish the fine lines. Look at the color and also check the lines appear straight. So now when you go to a trade show or a rep comes to speak to you, you should be able to direct questions in the above areas rather than being led in any way. There are two types of setup of the lenses that you can get, through the lens or flip up loops. Through the lens are generally considered to have more advantages because they are fully customized, have a wider field of view as they're closer to your eye, they weigh less and have an optimal setup. Finally, I believe illumination is greatly beneficial. An output of between 30,000 and 40,000 lux is more than sufficient. You should additionally consider the collimation, as you ideally want a focused beam. A weight of 15 to 20 grams is tolerable. The battery should be lithium based, should last for at least one session, and ideally recharge in under an hour for practical reasons. There are many companies out there selling loops, including OptiLoop, OptiDent, Oroscoptic, and the list goes on. Prices range from a few hundred to a few thousand. Whatever you get, make sure you know what you're paying for. For example, is it the lens or the frame or something else? And then decide what is important for you. Regardless, loops and a light are a fantastic investment for your career and health. And those who use them regularly will assure you that once you've got them, you definitely won't be able to work without them.